Hi, Shanan, it's Heather. I thought I would take the opportunity to respond to your discussion board via video. Um, I really enjoyed reading it um, and got some um, interesting things out of it and also found some things that you and I kind of agreed on. You know, when you're looking at marriage and what the Bible says about it, I think it's great that you brought up, okay, like it's a metaphor for a union between Christ and the bride into the church. I think that's so important to remember, especially because Christ loved the church, like Christ, just like we talked about in class the other night, like he just gives us so much grace, more, you know, more than we should get. But I'm very thankful that he does give us grace. And especially when Dr. K asked us, you know, okay, define it for a minute, I had to be like, oh my gosh, like, doesn't everyone know what grace is? You know, I have to remember, and I'm, I was thankful for her asking that question, like, okay, we need to know what grace is and teach people how to give it. You know, you talk about the metaphor of the union between Christ and the bride and to the church. Also, you know, the verse that talks about, okay, the two become one is also just such a good way at looking at marriage. There's two individuals, they become one, one unit, one team. You know, um, I liked how you said, you know, humans, of course, we as humans, you know, we recall pain, you know, we try to protect ourselves from it. You know, and so as counselors, we approach, okay, what's the source of the conflict? You know, just like when couples walk in to talk to us, okay, like, here's the problem, but what's the real, like, problem, you know, and understanding the source of the conflict. I mean, I use cognitive behavioral therapy. So there's, there's a thought, feeling, action, right? So almost in the same steps that I would approach, okay, there's something there's something behind that action. You know, what's the thoughts? What's the feelings that you're having? Let's talk about changing those. It's it's the same, you know, with couples. Okay, here's the conflict. Here's the problem. You know, what's once underneath it? You know, I agree with you that the main strength of the model is its ability to address the pain by exploring its source. You know, it's, it's only through understanding the origin of something that a counselor can help the couple address their problems. I you know, com completely agree. So looking at that, okay, there's pain and there's defense, you know, that's, that's kind of what's going to, what's going to make up the conflict. Um, I noticed that you kind of talked about, about violence, right? Because that is a definite important subject to um, address with couples. Okay, so here's my question for you. When you think about, okay, here's like, we start out with talking about dreams and goals, right? What brought you here? We talk about what is pain, you know, kind of what Dr. K said, like, what does pain look like? What is, you know, that worst day look like? And then we introduce them to grace. So in thinking through, okay, here's how we approach the conflict model. My question is, when you want to bring up violence, or you want to assess for it, um, where do you think we in that conflict model should bring up the topic um, of violence. You know, I know specifically in regarding to talking about pain, you know, we talk about that pain within and the pain between. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe bring it up when you talk about pain between, like, what does that look like? I'm just wondering kind of your thoughts on it. I look forward to hearing back from you. Hope you have a great day.